All right, guys, welcome back. This is part two of Fallout 4. This is incredible. Uh, well, as you saw in the last video, I've come across um, what seems to be a base camp. Somewhere where I can store stuff, somewhere I can build stuff. A hell of a lot of stuff. There is so much here. Uh, it's crazy. It's beneath this uh, red rocket garage, this kind of uh, engineer's garage that was here before. And it stands out like a sore thumb on the map. And also, um, it's in your... It's in your um, on your compass, you can see it pretty straightforward. The symbol is of a rocket. Now here we are in the wastelands, finally out of Vault uh, 111 or Triple One, whatever we're going to call it. Um, but let me just show you a few things while in between last video and this one that I found um, going through. So first of all, um, you can see the glowing green light on my arm. Okay, that is how to turn on. Uh, this is how you turn on that light in the dark. It will help you out. It's the torch from your pit boy. Uh, and once he circles round again, I'll just show you. All you have to do is hold down the circle button. Rather than press it once to bring up your pit boy, you hold it down and it turns that torch on and off. And you can see the symbol, the green light symbol that turns on on your screen. Uh, which activates the torch. Very, very useful, but of course don't use it if you're trying to sneak up on some enemies. Now, the other thing uh, here is the, uh, the all the different things you've got inside um, this building. This is to be where you can store your stuff. You can, Any of these file cabinets, you can transfer items to and from. Uh, just hit the transfer button and you can stuff stuff away. Hide stuff away um, for a rainy day. And there is rain. I've just lived through a rainstorm, so... Uh, uh, you've got a terminal here you can use, you can play holotapes on it, but uh, having read that terminal, it told me, uh, and I read a message from one guy to another saying there is a cave underneath this very building. So we're going to go check that out in a minute before we go down into the Concord town. Uh, this is the chem cooler. Uh, inside this you can keep chemicals. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Um, don't know how to do that yet. I haven't got any chemicals worth doing. Uh, you've got a uh, ham radio so you can listen to illegitimate broadcasts. Um, uh, a food supply. I think this will replenish if you keep coming back to it. Um, the, the dog is getting in my way. Uh, it's really getting annoying. Uh, this is the power armor station. Once you've found some power armor, you can come here and modify it. Uh, and then once you've modified it, get in it, use it, whatever. Um, the workshop here you can use to create... Uh, items, structures, things for your 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 camp here. This is your base. Uh, so use that. The um, all these tools. Uh, sorry, all these items. There are things left lying around that you can use. This big red button here. Push that button, and it will control this gate. Now you can control the doors in this building as well. But I think the dog, as soon as he, you can see, he's closed these doors. But if the dog wants to go through it, he just simply does. Uh, which I don't understand. There you go. You see, the dog can open the doors. Now, I should really tell him to wait. If I want to lock this place down, if I'm getting attacked, I'm going to have to instruct him to wait. Uh, a couple of other things. If you come around the, the back of your building here, you've got a cooking station. Now, this is where you would want to craft uh, some food. If you've picked up some meat, some rad roach meat, or some of the, um, the other types of meat, you can roast. Select the, uh, the roast icon there. And uh, you can pick up, you can make grilled rad roach. Now, the good thing about making uh, this meat, the grilling the meat itself, is it will not poison you. Now, every time you eat meat that has not been cooked, uh, it will give you a tiny bit of radiation poisoning, which ultimately just reduces your maximum health. Uh, your health bar, you'll see a tiny little red line uh, at the top, um, which is basically what that is. Uh, we're going to cook some more those chunks you can cure yourself of it by a, a rad away if you find one of those or if you find a doctor of course uh mutt chops love the name great so now we've got loads of edible meat that won't actually harm us um and there's other things you can do you can make soup of course you have to have all these ingredients um good luck finding those things uh, and a utility here uh, to create vegetable starch which i think is a little odd i don't know quite what you'd need that for but anyway it's there um exit station at least we've got some food um, also I noticed you can of course flip between first and third person on the PS4 all you have to do uh, if my controls would just stop screwing up is use um, is use this uh, it's your tab it's uh, sorry it's your your touchpad on the PS4 will allow you to switch between third and first person now 
Third person's cool and all, but when you're hunting around a room for stuff, it's very hard to actually kind of lock in and concentrate on stuff. So I would recommend first person for searching, maybe third person for shooting, uh, and for, for firing on enemies, just to give yourself that extra bit of, uh, I don't know, visibility around your body. If you're in the middle of a fight, especially a fist fight, you may want to use third person for that. Um, I tend to stick with the first person. I think it is much better for the Fallout game. Outside you've got another thing, an armor workbench. This is how you can upgrade your current armor. Pretty cool. Um, don't forget the icebox. There's a there's an icebox that's got had stuff in it. It might replenish, I don't know. A trash bin. Uh, and also a chemistry station outside here. Now this is how you can make grenades, mines, syringes, any kind of drug that will help you out. Um, but there's also this cutting fluid. Hmm. I'm guessing that'll be needed to um, upgrade armor, just a guess. Uh, but this is the first sort of set of tips I suppose I have for you, is to explore this area. Now as I said, um, there is a, uh, a whole load of recordings on on this red rocket terminal here. If you go and have a look at that, it will tell you there is... Well, he was telling... Uh, one of the guys who worked here was telling a guy to go and store all the stuff, the barrels they had, down in the cave below base. Now that cave is uh, just over here I think. So yeah, so you got the you got the rocket up there. The cave is right here. Now inside here, then. So we're going to go down and have a quick look at that. And uh, this is just a, a tips I guess of, of the first things I think you should do once you've escaped Vault 111. Is come down, uh, explore around. Here we go. Here we are. There we are. Bye bye Mr. Mole Rat. All right. Okay, we got a few more. That's fine. We can we can cope with a few more. Dude, did I just shoot my dog? That's cool. All right. So the mole rats are gone. Somewhere down here. Uh, I'm gonna put the light on now. That's the the torch on my pit boy. Just as I showed you before. Hold down the circle button to do that. Uh, and take all the stuff that's down here. You might as well. Oh wow. Okay, we're getting some rad poisoning. You can hear the little, um... Okay, good, good, good. Let's get that award. What's that? On behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I'd like to congratulate you on your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. We've basically buried it underground. Um, well, that's cool. So, uh, it's not exactly... A reward is the recognition that we are conniving evil people. Um, grab the meat and the teeth. You can cook the meat. And uh, as I said before, it will help you out. Plenty of fungus down here as well. So it's probably worth picking that up. I'm looking for these barrels that they mentioned in the message on the computer though. There must be some more to it. There must be more to this cave than initially meets the eye. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, there's another one. Surely that got you. All right, so you have to go for the headshot. Wow, this this thing. Oh, it's a rabid roll mat. Thank you, thank you. Um, do not. I nearly called him D Dog because I've just been playing um, uh, Metal Gear Solid. That was a bit unfortunate. Uh, what have we got in here? Okay, a gold-plated flip lighter. That's cool. Duct tape and a hammer. Oil can. I think all these metal parts are going to be useful when we want to uh, create our armor. Got some barrels here. Ah, what's this? A safe. Unlock the safe. It's a novice level. This is really cool. So this is our first chance to unlock um, and lockpick something. Adjust the bobby pin with uh, the L and use the R to turn the screwdriver. Um, your, if the spot you've chosen is correct, the lock will rotate and open. If it resists, release R and use L to reposition the bobby pin. So this is means so you use the left stick to move the position uh, the bobby pin around, and then the R stick to move it. If it slightly turns, then you're on to the right thing. Very close now. Use the R stick to turn the screwdriver and there we go that's it we've opened it up and look what we've got in here we've got a load of rounds 14 bottle caps mine some leather left arm armor and a pipe rifle okay pipe rifle's interesting it's not massive damage 
but it is interesting nonetheless. I haven't got one, so I'll take it. Thank you very much. So to throw grenades or place mines, equip them with the pit boy and then hold and release R1. All right, so standard kind of grenade throwing tactic. That's cool. Right, well, this is what was worth getting down here. It was worth coming. Uh, and I guess I'll wrap this video up quickly just to show you the first things you should do once you get out of Vault 111. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, once I've got out of here, <laughs> please hit the like button. And uh, I'll be back soon with the next video. Thank you so much. And uh, good night.